Just a little review. Again, we're talking about uh, developing a better you. And we develop a better you by developing the qualities that are uh, that were found in the 300 greatest leaders in the world. And these people, they all have the same qualities that you and I have. They just had them developed to a greater degree. And that's essentially what we're doing. Let me ask you something. Would you be a better you if you were more dependable? If you develop the quality of dependability, would that make you a better person? Would that make you a better you? If people said they could depend on you, the definition of, of dependability is fulfilling what I agree to do, even in the, in the face of unexpected sacrifice. It, it's being dependable no matter what comes along. Uh, Bobby Knight says the quote, and he says, ability is good, dependability is critical. Athletics is the window by which we obviously did most of this and do most of this. But in athletics, it is absolutely essential that you develop the quality of being dependable. If I can depend on you to cover this zone, make this play, execute what the technique that I give you, then we have a chance. If you're not dependable, it really doesn't matter how much ability you have. Dependability is so much more important than ability. It's amazing. The first story is a, it's a story, uh, I knew you would come, and it comes out of World War I, and I'm going to read it because it's such a powerful story. It says this powerful story comes out of World War I. It's a story of the friendship between two soldiers in the trenches. Two buddies were serving together in the mud and misery of that wretched European stalemate. Month after month, they lived their lives in the trenches, in the cold, in the mud, under fire constantly. From time to time, soldiers from one side or the other would rise up out of the trenches, fling their bodies against the opposing line, and slink back to nurse their wounds bury their dead, and wait to do it all over again. In the process, those soldiers forge friendships in the misery. Day after day, night after night, terror after terror, they talked of life, family, hopes, of what they would do when they and if they returned home. On one more fruitless charge, Jim fell severely wounded. While his friend Bill made it back to the trenches, Jim laid suffering beneath the night flares between the trenches alone. The shelling continued. The danger was at its peak. Bill knew that between the trenches, in full view of the night flares, was no place to be. Still, Bill wished to reach his friend to comfort him to offer what encouragement only friends can offer. The officer in charge refused to let Bill leave the trenches. It was simply too dangerous. As the commander turned his back, however, Bill went over the top Ignoring the smell of cordite in the air, the concussion of incoming rounds and the pounding in his chest, Bill made it to Jim. Sometimes later, he managed to get Jim back to safety. His friend died shortly after Bill had gotten to him. The somewhat self-righteous officer seeing Jim's body cynically asked Bill if it had been worth the risk. Bill's response without hesitation. Yes, sir, it was. My friend's last words made it more than worth it. He looked up at me and said, I knew you'd come. That's the quality of dependability. I can depend upon you. Can people depend upon you? Questions, who would come for you? Do you have somebody that, that you can depend on that would come for you? Number two, for whom would you come and why? Dependability is critical. Ability is something good. Dependability is something absolutely necessary.